Prime Minister Narendra Modi will address the nation through his monthly radio program Man Ki Baat at 11 a.m. on Sunday. On November 17th, he sought suggestions from the people about topics for the program. The Prime Minister wrote on Twitter that he cannot share with the nation all the exemplary accomplishments of the outstanding people working for societal good due to paucity of time, but noted that he reads out truly valuable inputs. For this month's Man Ki Baat, Modi had asked people to keep sharing their thoughts on Namo app, MyGov, or record their messages. After Home Minister Amit Shah offered to hold talks with farmers as soon as they shift to pre-decided protest venues, farmer union leaders said that the government should have offered to hold talks with an open heart and without any conditions. Various farmer unions will be holding a meeting on Sunday to decide their response. Meanwhile, Punjab Chief Minister Amrinder Singh has requested farmers to accept Amit Shah's offer to shift to a designated place in order to pave the way for early talks to resolve their issues. Large group of farmers are camping on Delhi borders demanding permission to hold their protest at Jantan Mantar instead of pre-decided venue near the border. Haryana farmers hit back on Saturday after Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar said that the BJP ruled states farmers had stayed away from protests over the farm laws. They were not a part of the thousands marching on Delhi to stage a joint agitation, the Chief Minister said. The farmers showed their Aadhaar cards to establish their identity and dismissed Khattar's claims. They said that the movement was supported by farmers from Haryana, Punjab and several other states and that they would not back down till the center agreed to their demands to repeal the anti-farmer laws. Shiromani Akali Dal has hit out at Haryana Chief Minister Emil Khattar for claiming that the ongoing farmers protest against new agriculture laws has a Khalistani link. Sukhbir Singh Badal tweeted that the BJP leader's remark was a conspiracy to defame the farmers and their protest to pave the way for government repression with brutal force. Badal said instead of raising the Khalistani bogey the Haryana chief minister should ask the center to talk to farmers and resolve their grievances the covid-19 positivity rate in delhi dropped to 7.24% on saturday the lowest since october 23rd as authorities detected 4998 fresh cases from a record 69051 tests 89 more fatalities pushed the city's death toll to 8998 Cases and positivity rate have been declining in the capital since November 7th. Chief Minister Kejriwal tweeted about the positive development and said, "Hope the trend continues." While Health Minister Satyendra Jain too remained optimistic and said, "We are in a slightly better position as more than 50% reserve beds for COVID patients remain unoccupied." The case tally rose to 561,742 in Delhi on Saturday as active cases went down to 36,578. The Serum Institute of India will seek emergency use authorization for the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine in about 2 weeks. Adar Poonawala, founder and CEO, after meeting Prime Minister Narendra Modi at his facility, said on Saturday that SII is in the process of submitting the data for the clinical trials to the DCGI and will seek emergency use authorization. He said there will be no delays in the AstraZeneca vaccine rollout as the trials are more than enough for establishing efficacy and it will not affect emergency use authorization in Europe and certainly not in India. There was a recent error in dosage during trials which AstraZeneca is trying to correct as per reports. Speaking at a webinar hosted by Lucknow University on Saturday, Indian Council of Medical Research Chief Professor Balram Bhargava said India is making rapid progress as far as the development of COVID-19 vaccine is concerned. He however said that health protocols put in place to tackle the coronavirus will stay for a long time and people will have to continue wearing masks even after a vaccine is available. Calling masks a fabric vaccine, he said its contribution in stopping the COVID spread cannot be ignored. He added that masks play a very important role in keeping people who have just recovered from the infection safe. 
In a first election since the watering down of Article 370, 51.7% of Jammu and Kashmir's electorate exercised the franchise in the first ever District Development Council polls. The Union Territories Election Commissioner K.K. K. Sharma said that barring small incident of stone pelting in Kuldgaum district of South Kashmir, the polling was peaceful. Sharma said that 43 DDDC constituencies went to poll where 7 lakh voters were registered. In Jammu, voting percent was 64.2% and in Kashmir, Kashmir 40.65% voting was recorded. Former JNU student leader Umar Khalid alleged before a Delhi court on Saturday that there has been vicious media campaign against him in various newspapers and on TV channels about his alleged role in the February Delhi riots. The media platforms were reporting about him on the basis of a supplementary charge sheet even though Khalid did not have a copy of it and cannot defend himself. Additional sessions judge directed the court staff to provide a soft copy of the supplementary charge sheet to Khalid's counsel on Saturday. During the hearing, Special Public Prosecutor Amit Prasad appearing for the police denied all Khalid's allegations.